Welcome to this tutorial on creating a brochure using CorelDRAW Graphics Suite X4. There are many types of brochures that can be created using CorelDRAW. They can be twofold, trifold, or fourfold. It all depends on the amount of information and the target audience. For this exercise, we're going to create a threefold or trifold brochure. With the power of CorelDRAW, creating brochures is an easy task. Let's get started. After launching CorelDRAW, we're going to need to set the page size to A4, and I'll switch it to the landscape format as well. I can either use the interactive property bar here, or I can go into the page setup window. An easy way to get there is double click on the shadow of the page. I'll select the paper size, select the landscape, and then click OK. Now there are a couple of ways that we can easily divide our page into three panels. I can either double click on the rectangle tool to create a page frame. Then, using the interactive property bar, I can divide this frame into thirds. This will give us a rectangle that will be equal to one of the panels that we can then drag guidelines out to use. I'm going to delete this. One other way that we can divide the page into thirds is to make use of preset guidelines. I'm going to double click on the shadow of the page again, expand the guidelines option, and then select presets. Under presets, I'll then select three column newsletter. This will create guidelines that I can use to position the text and other graphics for my brochures. When we print this out, it will be a double sided print job, so we'll need to add a second page. To make it easier to plan the layout of the individual pages, a little tip here would be to temporarily number the panels. Now remember, when the brochure is folded, panel 1 is on the same side of the page as panels 5 and 6. I'll add numbers 2, 3, and 4 to the first page, and numbers 5, 6, and 1 to the second page. When creating a brochure, there are a couple of rules that should be kept in mind. Cleaner is better. Try to maintain white space. Having clutter can hide important details to the reader. Increase the margins and the leading between the lines of text. Keep font changes to a minimum. Use bold text to draw attention to important points and try to avoid using all uppercase. Use color. Making use of color will help draw attention to the viewer, but be careful not to use too much color. This will make the brochure appear cluttered. Now let's get back to our project. The next step to creating our brochure is to import the text that we're going to use. For this brochure, my text has been saved from Microsoft Word. As you may know, not only does CorelDRAW X4 support Microsoft Word 2007 files, but it also has support for tables. I'll click on the file import, browse to where my file has been saved, and bring it in. As with importing any file, I'll place my cursor where I want the text to be and click the mouse button. You'll notice that CorelDRAW automatically added the proper number of pages based on the amount of text in the file. I'll format the text in a moment, but first I want to bring in some graphic elements that I'm going to use. I'm going to move to page 2. On this page, I will have panels 5, 6, and 1. Again, File, then Import. This time I'll hold down the Control key and I'll select the files that I'm going to use. This will allow me to bring in more than one file at a time. Once I have my cursor key, I'll click the page in various locations to drop the images down. Now that I have all my content imported, I'll start by laying things out. I'm going to start with the customer's business card that I brought in. By ungrouping it, I can move the elements to where I want them. This will be the first panel or the front of the brochure. I'll add a title and some text and it'll very quickly start to take shape.
Next, I'll start moving my copy where I want it. I'll start on panel number two and work from there. When adjusting the text frames, you'll notice a couple of things here. First off is a red dotted frame around the text. This is new in Corel Draw Graphics Suite X4 and indicates that there is too much text for the size of the frame. Secondly, at the bottom of the frame is a text flow tab. This is how we will pick up the overflow text and link it to another frame or object. By clicking on this tab, it will change the cursor to a link cursor. It's that simple. When I place an image within the text, I want the text to be able to wrap around the image. This can easily be accomplished by right-clicking on the image and selecting Wrap Paragraph Text. I'll continue with changing the size of the paragraph text frames and putting them into place. When it comes to working with tables, it's simply a matter of resizing the table and the font size. One final step, if the brochure that you're creating is a small run and you'll be manually folding, it may be an idea to create a small mark to aid in the folding properly. Using the freehand drawing tool, create a vertical line about 10 millimeters long at the top of the page between guidelines of panels 2 and 3. So as you can see, it's very easy and can be a lot of fun to create a professional looking brochure by using a few simple tools in CorelDRAW Graphics Suite X4.